Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Happy Friday. Yes, and we are about to have a little chat with you because this is our lit, lit chat session, one o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> So as you can see from our backdrop, we are at our favorite stationery shop in Australia called Officeworks. So the reason we decided to be here was um, to share some of the, the top tips, in fact five top tips that we've got for planning. Yeah. So we began the, the month with some amazing deals for doTERRA, but for our own business and our personal goals, like what we wanted to achieve out of this month. Mm. And we thought it was so valuable for what we did that we could share it along with you and maybe you can find it useful as well yeah like sometimes when you look at your life it looks it feels so overwhelming that you can get so stressed that you become un unproductive unproductive, unproductive. <laughs> so we think um, that these little tips helped us they did yeah. they, sh they shifted an amazing energy in us yeah. last week and um, that has carried forward which yeah. is quite good um, and it all started with a whiteboard. Yes. <laughs> now you don't have to buy a whiteboard, no. but we'll talk about other, other strategies that you can use. But like Sarah said, when your life seems so overwhelming, instead of actually getting into action, you find that you sink into non-action. And watch Netflix or play Bejeweled. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start this. What is tip number one? Okay. Tip number one is write it down. Exactly. Write it down. Get it mm -hmm. out of your head. Get it onto something. So yes. whether it be a piece of paper, a notepad, a post-it. Mm. Um, we, as you know, love our whiteboards because it's in your face yeah. and really showing you what you need to do. And who doesn't love writing on a whiteboard? With, with colourful, colourful things. Pens. Oh, so, so good. So fun. Creative. And when yeah. you get into a creative spirit, you really start um, you start expanding mm. everything that's going on and it, it can... It can. It spurs on inspiration and you don't even realise what's in there until you start writing it down. So it's so productive, I think. Yeah. But so there are so many different facets of your life and each one has lots of little things within things. So our next tip is write down the categories of your life, for example. Well, it could be something like what's um, your meal planning for the week. Yep. It could be from your business strategy, what you ha the top things you have to do for the week. Yeah. Um, it could be like if you're planning a holiday, who Ooh, goes camping. on holiday without having a list of places you're going to go to or a packing list of what you're going to take with you or mm. you know when you go to the the flight center area or wherever you do your your purchase of your tickets you have to know what your dates are where you want to go what you want to see yeah there's so many lists and categories and things to write down and once it's off your mind i find with me and i know with you is it just takes pressure off and you're less stressed so why don't you yeah. tell us about the categories that you came up with this week for yeah. your house? So we had a house inspection and I came home, I'd been working um, you know, three days in a row and long hours and I felt overwhelmed because you know when you're getting a house inspected you think you need to make it perfect and I felt completely overwhelmed but I have a little whiteboard on my fridge, thank you, <laughs> and um, I wrote every single thing down and I uh, allocated it <laughs> the jobs that my husband needed to do and the jobs that I needed to do and as I went I just crossed them out and it just took the pressure off and then I could relax. So she's gone through all the rest of the topics. So the next yeah, oh, category <laughs> number three is break it down. Yeah. So you might have a main category like of food preparation mm. but maybe you want to go into um, what Monday's meal is, what yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so it helps you with your shopping list mm. Or it could be your house clean, who's going to do the kitchen area, who's going to do the bathrooms, who's going to do the garden, yeah. who's, you know. So that this big idea starts to become more um, edible. Yeah, yeah? we Bite can't all just pieces. put a huge burger in our mouth. We've got to eat it bit by bit. Yeah. I know the analogy is of an elephant, yeah, but anyway, you, we who don't wants want to, to eat, eat an elephant? elephant. No, we love elephants. <laughs> And within that, like, and this is another thing, is you can create a flow from that. Yep. Yep. So, um, a process flow. You could say, okay, this is my meal plan, but in order to get that meal plan, all right, I need to plan that out. I need to go to the shops. I need to go to the fruit shop that day. Um, if that's going to take me two hours to, to put that stock on. So, there's a flow chart within that. And that's just an example because everything can be broken down 
And once it's out and it looks like, oh yeah, I can do that, it's so much easier. Um, what's number four? Um, we're just turning our car. Oh, you cannot have an air con on without the car running. <laughs> um, so accountability. Yeah, so mm. that would be, you know, also deciding who is responsible for some of those things. Yeah. Um, for example, like what Sarah said, she had um, her husband having to be responsible for some things, her responsible, but it also could be um, sharing it with someone who helps you um, stay on track with it. Mm. Depending on what the goals are that you have. So between Sarah and I, we mm. have a, a, a business that we do together, but there are certain things that I have to do on mm. a weekly basis and there are certain things she has to do. So mm. we write our list down and we then Break share it, it off and then we allocate the jobs and we're accountable because it's, if it's not written down, then it doesn't exist. <laughs> you might think it in your head and then completely forget about exactly, it. Exactly, and that happens all the time. Yeah. Yep. And the next one is cross it off. Cross, who doesn't love crossing the list off? I often write down things I've already done just so I can see it crossed off <laughs> because I like to see my progress. Don't you? I love it. I do exactly the same thing. I mean, who in their right mind writes something down just to swipe it off? Me and lots of people, I think. <laughs> and when you see that list, it is a major sense of achievement. It is. Even yeah. if, you know, I know I keep talking about house cleaning because I Even hate Even if it is cleaning the toilet. Yeah, but I mean, who doesn't want to go like, yes, that is done. done. Don't have to worry about that until next week or next day. Exactly. Um, so those are our top five couple so, of little tips so wait let's just cover what they okay. were so it was write, write it, it down, down find your categories break it down, down. share it or share accountable. it or be accountable for it cross and it then off. cross it off and then reward yourself yay that's our little sneaky <laughs> one which is pedicure yeah. chocolate coffee because <laughs> everyone know, works in a holiday. reward um, program mm. and if you're in doTERRA you would want to be on the loyalty rewards program because that is awesome Exactly. One little tip for me, be adaptable. Yeah. Because the plan the, might not work the first time, change it. Yeah. And that's also good. And you know, life changes. So suddenly you were supposed to study between 12 and two, and then you got an appointment that you were been waiting for at the chiropractor or the acupuncturist or something. And you, you need to shift that time out. Mm. So that's change why it I around. Like, that's why I like either working in pencil or whiteboard so or you can whiteboard. rub it out and change it yeah yeah so that didn't take us long today to talk no, through it didn't i don't think there's anything else i want to say no maybe um maybe we could take some photos and put them in the comments of our hundred whiteboards that amanda has i have four whiteboards at home that's a lot <laughs> it's excessive <laughs> sarah has three no. Oh yeah, okay, I do. Oh. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> you know what I want? A big chalkboard on my wall. Oh. No. Birthday present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we hope you have a lovely day. The sun is shining here and um <laughs> that's And it, it is. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> have a great okay. day everybody. We'll chat soon.